devolved countries should be freed from colonizing countries? Well, it depends how much good. You see, a lot of the countries, the British are very good at colonizing. They're not terribly good at leaving, uh, you know. <coughs> they tend to get out quick once the decision's made. But countries are a business. And effectively, you're selling that country on to the next buyer. They are past that in this globalist society. Well, no, Slap Club. I don't think we can ever really be a globalist society. I don't think there are any benefits apart from to just a handful of super rich who want to take everything in the world. But don't realize, as my father would say, you can only wear one suit. Uh, so we live in a global economy now where every country should be equally responsible for each other. A slap club, not necessarily. 30 years of the nation being educated and you're still going strong. Congratulations, Scotty. Betty, Joe, I thank you. As you well know, Scotty McClure, his brief is to inform, educate, and entertain, and to take the neutral high ground. Ideally, anyway, yes, ideally, anyway, but well, I see, ideally, globalization is far from ideal. Four and a half thousand likes, my beauties. Have you all followed me? You must start seriously following Scotty McClure. But we know greed will win out in the end over the good of the people. No, no. You see, greed will never win out. Because what these poor souls don't realize, they're after control. They're not really so much after the hard cash as the control. Owning all the land, growing the food, taking things away from people. That sort of idea. That's globalization. You know, now the whole thing about it is you can never actually own anything. And you certainly can't take anything with you to the next life apart from your soul, your spirit, your knowledge, and your understanding. I live in Wrexham, North Wales, and Wrexham has become a city, sharing the city with Bangor in Ireland. We love Bangor in Ireland. There's Bangor in Wales as well. The more localized the power is, the better. I agree, Big Sindo. Is the golden rule? He who has the gold makes the rule. Well, no, you see. Because in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. And they don't come much blinder. Yes, no offense to anybody visually impaired. They don't come much blinder than those who think they sit at the top of the tree. They are virtually myopic. Yes, yes, absolutely. So there you have it. Believe me, I agree with everything you're saying, but reality works different. No slap club. Reality is what I'm talking about. You know, this is not a theory I'm giving you. These are facts. Watch and it shall be, it shall be opened unto you. I'm an idealist too, but the way the world's going, it's collapsing. No slap club. Bits of it are collapsing. What you will see is those who thought they had the power collapsing. Read your Bible, dear boy. There we are. It's all there. Whether you believe in the Bible or not, read the holy books. Um, and so it's not a question of being an idealist. It's just a question of being a factualist. Guys, it would have to done.